There's a problem. E22. Hello everyone and welcome to the Project Help Desk. Today we are going to show you how to repair the infamous E22 error on your Bosch dishwasher. Super cheap and super quick. I already fixed it. What? I fixed the dishwasher. Well, why am I here? For the intro. So contrary to popular belief, E22 really isn't an error. All it means is your dishwasher filter needs to be cleaned. So whether the fridge is like, hey, change filter, the dishwasher is like, error 22. Since the wife's already done it, I guess I will let her share with you the process. You see, what had happened was I got some ants, so I had to take care of the dishes real quick. Because of that, I just threw stuff in here and it resulted in a hot mess in the filter. I'm going to take the filter out. Look, that is disgusting, so I need to clean this. Wow. And this is basically what the filter looks like and I should be able to take it apart. Yep, just like that. This should come out too just need to, there we go, so it's three pieces, so I need to clean that out, but we'll do that in a minute. I'm going to show you my easy solution. I'm going to use this Cascade Complete. I actually don't use this typically in the dishwasher, but I've got this big bottle, so I do use it on things like this. So let me turn on my water. Basically, I just use this handy wipe and wipe things down. And by using the dishwasher soap, if for some reason I don't get it rinsed all the way, then it's no big deal because it's stuff that goes in the dishwasher anyway. And it doesn't matter what kind of dishwashing detergent you use. Let me rinse this off. dropped that one into the same soapy water. I love this faucet because I can pull it down and there's a direct nozzle that looks like this and I can really hit it on the inside. There are some spots but I'm not going to nitpick over it today. I just want to get rid of this, get rid of the error code. One lance rinse. And what I'm gonna try to do is put this back on. This is this is the trickiest part because it never goes on right for me. Okay, it seems to be pretty good. I'm gonna leave this in the sink for now and tackle the dishwasher itself. I'm going to use the same handy wipe to wipe this. I don't know what's going on here. Ooh, what was that? Oh, I know exactly what that is. It's not from the dishwasher. It's from a Pyrex dish of sorts. 
they look pretty good. So I'm not aiming for perfect just to get the coat out. But while I'm down here, I might as well Clorox it. Now we'll put this back in and this is where I always have problems. I can't believe it. I actually got it to go in and it didn't fall apart that time. Now let's see if the code is clear. All right, the code's still there, but let's do this. That's just the time. So I cleared the code, yay! These are just Clorops, Clorops, Clorox wipes. Okay, so as you see, it's a very simple process to clean that filter out. So if you look it up in your manual, you'll find out that, yeah, E22 just means that the filter's clogged. You actually, it, and it's actually expected, those filters cl clog up, and you actually have to clean them out every so often. So if you don't just sort of do it on a schedule anyway, it's going to spit that out on the code, on the code panel, and you just have to go in and clean that out, and you are good to go. Very simple process, very easy to do, and that should cure that problem. And as soon as you power it back up and repower cycle it, the error should go away. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and throw them in the comments below. We'll be happy to try to answer everything. Uh, there's always a chance that other things may break and give you that error code, even though it's not really dirty, because it is doing a sensing. So I'm sure there's a sensor somewhere that could go bad over time. But as long as everything's functioning, that should take care of it. And we look forward to seeing you on the next video. If you enjoyed this, hey, think about doing the old usual subscribe, like, and share. Uh, certainly helps us out and doesn't cost you a dime. And we'll see you next time. Have a good one.